Hi, I'm Johnny Good from ultimatepapermache.com and today I wanted to just kind of show you something that I'm doing. Um, I don't have a sculpture made yet, but I'm kind of setting up my studio so that it works just a little bit better for me. Um, you probably know if you've been out at my website or watching my videos lately, I have been doing a lot of masks and I really, really love it. So I'm going to be doing more. And because of that, I wanted to kind of get things set up a little bit better. Um, what I had been doing when I made all the masks for, for my recent book, I used this table right here, it's 18 inches square, and I used it because it's right at the right height so that I can work standing up, which is what I prefer doing. But the problem with it, if you have a mask here, where you're looking at his bottom of his chin, you know, um, so there's a real tendency to distort things, and you have to... Um, you look at it this way, you say, oh, okay, that's not right, and you have to change things around. So I am set it up with the, with the board that I nailed on the back of my little little table. This, this has wheels on the bottom of it, just a kitchen um, thing that I got at Fred Meyer's about 10 years ago. Works really good. Um, I put a little uh, piece of wood right there to act as a stop, and then I hot glued this guy, which is the mask form I'm going to be using for my next projects and put it right here. So this is just at the right angle, so I'm looking at it at the same, um, in the same direction, I guess you could say, as I would if it was hanging on the wall. And I really like making display masks. I'm a little bit too old to be wearing a whole lot of masquerade masks, and I don't go to masquerade balls. Um, don't do a trick or treat, so um, I really like uh, display masks. I like having them like the cougar back there. Um, I like them because they m make me feel like I got company all the time. Even though I'm working in my studio all by myself an awful lot of the time, like most artists do, it's really nice just to have them around. Um, so what I'm going, what I did for this guy, it made a, a mass form that's a little bit different. This is. This is a mask form that was actually made on my face using some uh, aluminum foil and duct tape and um, uh, plaster cloth. And it doesn't show a whole lot, doesn't need to, just gives, gives enough shape to the inside of the mask to make sure that if I wear it, it will fit, there's room for my nose, that sort of thing. But since I'm going to be making masks for the wall, and I I don't like having too much information on a mask form, like like these guys. Um, it's got a bunch of stuff all over it. But when you get plastic mask forms, they quite often have too much information, so it's a little bit hard to go around and put on your own features in the place where you want them. Especially, and that can especially get in the way if you're making um, a wolf, for instance. I'm going to be doing a wolf next, and I'm going to be putting it on this mask form. So I don't want too much of a nose or too much human bones here because it might get in the way of what I'm uh, wanting to do next. I want a lot of variety. So to make this thing, it give me just a little bit of help with the bones, but uh, not give me any of the features. I made a mask form using this for the inside rather than my own face. I used this exactly the same um, system that I used to make the other one but using it over this plastic skull. And then I realized, when I was looking at it this morning, I realized that it's not really going to work very well for a wolf or any other kind of animal that isn't a primate, because we primates like to put our eyes <laughs> right in the front of our face, and that bone that comes down right here uh, will actually prevent me from being able to make my wolf's eyes on the side of the skull, which is where wolves keep them. So I went ahead and used a, oh, where is it? It's a just a drywall saw. Works really good. And just cut off those bones. And um, so now I should be able to uh, use this mass form for almost any animal that I would want. The, obviously, we have more of a um, forehead. Uh, most animals don't put their brains actually in that particular spot. Um, I, I digress here. <laughs> On a wolf, this would actually, uh, is where they would put their uh, jaw muscles. 
So it's not quite, obviously not going to be quite the same as a wolf. So things will have to change. I'll have to move things around a little bit. But it gives me a start. And it would still um, fit on a human face if I were to take it off and, and uh, create a, um, a wearable mask. This actually should work. Don't know yet because I haven't actually tried it. <laughs> so that's what I'm thinking. Um, hopefully I'm, I'm on the right track here. Um, I'm hoping this will make it just a little bit easier. It's, it's hot glued. This guy is hot glued to this uh, piece of foam board so that I have something nice and flat. It's not going to be moving around. Um, I'm, he's looking straight at me so that I'm going to be able to um, see um, the, the shapes, the way they will look when they're on the wall. Or if uh, yeah, I happen to make a wearable mask, um, the way it would look when somebody's wearing it. And I can still see around the side in my little table. You know, it has wheels, so I can turn it really easy. So that's what I'm thinking. Um, I'm going to be starting my wolf uh, this afternoon. I hope he'll turn out okay. <laughs> and if it does, I'll go ahead and show him to you uh, in the next video. Thanks for watching. Come on over and visit me at ultimatepapermache.com. Bye-bye.